Hi everyone, it's Julia from Crosspatch. Just a quickie today, we're going to talk bag handles. And if you're watching from abroad or you're younger than me, look up the two Ronnies and the four candles sketch and then you'll know what I'm talking about when I say bag handles. So bag handles. I have my own specific way of making bag handles. So I just thought I'd do a quickie on how I do, how I make them. So normally I'll do them 20 inches length, which means I can cut a long eighth of a um, piece of fabric. So each piece of fabric is five inches by 20 inches. And then I will get some H640 iron on wadding or H630 if you want something a bit thinner, or you can do it with bosal and you will cut a strip to cover half of your fabric. Then you will fold it right sides together. So you've got the wadding one side and the plane the other side, and you'll stitch all round this piece of fabric, leaving a gap in the middle seam. So once you've done that, you'll turn it inside out and you'll end up with something like this. So you've got a long strip, you've got that's the bit in the middle, where you turned it inside out or right sides out, you'll end up with a strip. So this is one handle, obviously. Um, I always say my destruction slip stitch the gap closed, but in reality, do I ever? Um, no. So I've got my bag handle and I mark roughly between two inches and three inches, depending on what kind of bag you're making with a pin either end. Once I've done that, I'm gonna fold that in half for the first uh, variation on my bag handles. So if I do that, I'll have folded it in half and you'll see where I've top stitched along that bit and you'll end up with the two ends like that. The alternative way of doing it is you'll fold, get your piece of fabric like this and then fold one over the other. So fold it in about half an inch that way and half an inch that way. Fold them on top of each other and then top stitch that. Now you'll need quite a good needle and quite a good sewing machine for this because your average sewing machine won't cope with that kind of thickness. Um, that's what you'll end up with when you top stitch it. So you're just folding them on top of each other. So on this basis, I use this for like bucket bags because then I put that on each side and you've got a nice handle to hold it with. Whereas this method, I tend to use it just for my handbags. So if I show you some examples, so let's start with a handbag. Now, where have I put them now? Here we go. So much stuff in here. Okay, so here's one. So this is the first variation, which is this variation. So for your bag handles, and I tend to always put them on the top of the bag so you can see how they hang. And I put the bit where the seams together facing inwards so you don't see them so much. So there's the front and there's the back of that bag. Or let's have a look on the bucket bag, my favourite bag. Again, I've used tweed on this, so that's extra thick. So the other, the second method, I, I think the sewing machine would have a hissy fit if I tried to do it. Again, top stitching on the front of your bag and I put some buttons over the top. Um, bucket bags. Again, this is the second method of doing it. And so you can put it on either side of your bag. And I've stitched, as you can see, I folded it over twice and top stitched along the top. If you're doing it that way, lengthen your stitch to about a five, I would say. That's on my Janome. Um, another way, here we go, here's another one, another bucket bag, second method again. So that's this method, folding over twice. So that's the fabric I've used on this. This is my latest kit. So it's like a thread, it's my box bag for putting all my Valdani threads in. So that's that one. Now you can go really dinky dinky, teeny tiny with these. So these are my little tumbler bags. And as you can see, I've done little teeny, teeny, tiny handles. So you can go all the way from, these were like one and a half inch strips of fabric up to five inch strips of fabric. Here's another teeny, tiny one. And you just top stitch it to the top of the bag. So it's like a little mini satchel. So you can see I've just top stitched them on there. Um, and another one, this is slightly different, same method but I didn't want them top stitched over the lace. So I've just, I've hung them down and 
stitched along there, tucked them in the lining on this one because I didn't want them detracting from the pretty stitchery on the front of the bag. So that's it for bag handles. Just a quickie, um, I'm off to sit in the house and wait for my new Bonina sewing machine to come um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.